So uh, this is your review for um, your CBA tomorrow. It's uh, 16 questions total, guys. It's all on matter. The biggest chunk of it will be, um, I think, I saw this right, matter, um, relative density, solubility, um, things like that. Um, so let's get started. You know, from before, this is my mom plays Roblox. My mom, Bay, plays Roblox till Saturday evening. Um, you know, mass is measured with the balance. It's in grams. Magnetism is whether or not it's attracted to a magnet. Physical state, salt, liquid, gas. <laughs> Silly little geeks, right? <laughs> Relative density, when matter, when matter sinks or floats in water, we call that MoFlow because, you know, if it's heavier, it's going to sink to the bottom. It's going to be closer to the floor, hence the MoFlow. Okay, it's Mo, it's on the flow. All right, solubility in water, whether matter dissolves in water. Let's remember sugar, salt, um, honey, lemon juice. Okay, those all dissolve in water. Now, um, yesterday I came up with a new thing, right, for the sugar. Does sugar dissolve in hot water, though, or cold water? hot water. So that's why I said, if you wanted it sweet, you got to turn up the heat. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, thermal conductivity, whether matter conducts or insulates heat. Electrical conductivity, whether matter conducts or insulates electricity. Okay. Either, it, either electricity can go through it or not, or whether heat, it can get hot or not. So a good, ins a good question on this, like the slide, the thermal conductivity. So like, so, you know, some parts have metal slides and some have plastic slides. Well, the metal slides definitely will burn your booty. The, me the plastic slides, they get hot, but they're not, it's not a scorcher. You're not losing skin on the way down. <laughs> so, all right. And then uh, moving on, this takes us to conductivity here. So if it's a conductor, right, it's a green light. See the arrow? Green light, go. Because <laughs> um, the energy can flow through it. But if it's an insulator, it stops the energy. Okay, red light. All right, uh, I want to skip this right now. Relative density, less dense flows, more dense sinks, mo flow. Okay, um, syrup is more dense than water. Water is more dense than oil. Whatever this thing is, is more dense than the oil. But it's less dense than the water. See that? All right. Uh, and then solubility, soluble, salt, sugar, honey, lemon juice. Insoluble, okay, that's an important word. Insoluble means it's, it's not soluble. It doesn't dissolve. Oil, glass, metal, plastic. All right, changes in matter. Let's talk about changes in matter. So here are your three states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas. Silly little geeks, right? If I want to take a solid, which is a piece of ice, and turn it into a liquid, I'm going to melt it. <laughs> All right. If uh, that liquid, I want to turn it into a gas, that's evaporation. So we're going to put here shower scene. Okay. So although you don't have ice in your shower, so we're going to kind of want to start there. But it's some <laughs> this part, the liquid to the gas is evaporation. This is when the shower is hot and steamy, right? Okay. So then you're in the shower, you're, you're, you're washing your hair, and when you get out, you see condensation on the window. Not the window, but the mirror, okay? It's all um, mirror fogged. <laughs> up. But when you're looking at it, and you're looking at it really good, and you're studying it, it's like water. It's like someone just splashed water up there, right? It's just got a different look to it, because it's all beaded up. Well, that's because that hot steam, okay, that vapor, that gas, hit that cold mirror. And believe me, that mirror is cold. And when it does, it turns that air back into water droplets, okay? And then, you know, when you open the door and everything dries off, it runs down. So this is your shower scene right here. That's your shower scene. 
All right, but then let's say we got that liquid. Let's say you were able to put like a cup underneath the mirror and catch some of that water. If you wanted to turn that liquid, that water, and turn it back into a solid, you would just freeze it. Someone do that. Someone do this. Someone take a ice cube. Did you hear that? That was weird. All right. Someone take an ice cube, melt it, put it in the bath, in the shower, like, like run a shower, pour the water in there so then technically we have the same water. <laughs> Let it evaporate. <laughs> you, you see how I'm going with this? Someone get a little cup, catch the water off the mirror, <laughs> freeze it. Because, you know, I'm sure you all have nothing to do. So anyway, mixture. All right, a mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Rachel Blackman, are you listening? Because this is this got you yesterday. Mixture, a combination of two or more substances. The substances maintain their physical properties. Example, iron fillings and sand. Look here. I have a mixture of soda and ice. When you combined soda and ice, do they maintain their physical properties? Yes. Okay. Now. Um, okay, uh, iron fillings and sand, we'll say salad, Chex Mix, my 120 pairs of shoes. <laughs> All right. And then a solution is, again, a special type of mixture. Okay, it is a mixture of two or more substances. It, its physical properties of substances may change. They may. Okay. Examples are salt and water. And let's also do sugar and water. Remember, if you wanted it sweet, you should have added some heat. <laughs> uh, sugar and water. What else? Um, um, honey and water. Lemon juice and water. Okay. Um, pretty much anything that you can. Oh, Kool Aid, of course. Gosh, how did we forget that? Anything and everything that you can combine two ingredients of and it, it turns into one new substance, then that's a solution. All right, physical properties and mixtures. Still talking about mixtures here. Some ingredients and mixtures maintain all of their physical properties. Sometimes their physical properties change, just like that cup of ice and soda. Even though the ice is still there, it's, it is melting. And so sometimes their physical properties do change. So it will melt, right? When iron fillings are mixed with sand, the sand fillings are still magnetic, right? The same color and the same mass. On the other hand, when salt is added to water, the salt size changes and the water's taste changes. All right, this you don't need to know for the test. All right, uses of energy. Let's talk about melts. Mechanical is your turbines, dams, hammer, you running, um, movement. We'll just put movement. Okay, that's movement. You moving, you moving. Um, eating, swimming, biking, okay. Electrical is computers and lamps, you know, anything that uses electricity, light. Solar panels use light energy. Uh, photosynthesis uses light energy, right? So plants can make their own food. Thermal, ovens use thermal to cook your lasagna. <laughs> Melting, um, I ate a chocolate bar yesterday that had melted. That was not fun. And then sound is hearing, you know, you can use sound to hear messages, alarm clock. Your phone go ting ting when you get a text. Um, remember, I also want you to focus on the word use or produce. Those are going to be key in getting their questions correct because you need to know what the question is asking. Is it asking what is it use or what does it produce? Okay. All right. I guess you don't need to know this one for the test. I was wrong about that. And you don't need to know down here for the test. 
we're going to do this stuff next week. And then last, circuits. Circuits, 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 circuits. Parts of a simple circuit. Well, you got your battery. There's a switch. There's some wire. And there's a bulb. But do you need the switch? Can you just have a circuit without it? Yes. So do not. So we'll put here, do not need. Is this a, is this circuit going to work? Why? Oh, the switch is open. You could do two things there, guys. You could close the switch, or you could just remove it. Okay? Because, again, we don't really need switches. A closed or complete circuit allows electricity to pass through. Let me try to do this. A closed or complete circuit allows electricity. Yeah, that's a happy circuit, right? He's happy. He's like, I can go. What? An open or incomplete circuit does not allow electricity to flow through it. I think yesterday I drew a little broken heart. <laughs> this guy, he's all in love. Woo! I can go. A closed circuit is shown below. All the bulbs appear lit. If this is a simple circuit, right? Does he have any excitement in his life? No life. No, he has no excitement in his life. But look at this guy down here. Holy cow. He's got choices. Okay, he's living a life. I mean, when he gets to a, an intersection right here, he can go, oh, which way do I want to go? I can go that way. I can go that way. Whatever shall I do? So he's got choices in life. Bad guy? Uh-uh. He went wrong somewhere. He, he made a bad life choice. <laughs> this guy? Oh, yeah. He's going places. Get it? <laughs> and when that place is closed off, he's still got other places to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all Y'all are going to do awesome on this. Here are a couple things I want you to write down. Underline question. Box not <laughs> and last but not least true or false everything underline question box not true or false everything peace you got it